Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you for uh, watching my channel, Amused Jester. My name is Junior. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is um, presenting how I feel and my final reactions and thoughts about this product. This is the Tomy 1350 scale uh, USS Enterprise NCC 1701. Um, I've had this for a while now, for a few days. Um, and I've, I've looked over some of the comments on my channel, uh, on my videos, and I've looked over some of the comments on, on other people's, uh, videos and their reactions and all that stuff. Um, I was mostly looking at their concerns about the seam lines, the plug holes and everything. Um, um, and I expressed my disappointment and all that stuff, but... What I will say is this, I haven't put it up on the display space that I've allocated for it yet. It's been sitting here on my review table this whole time and every time I I can't help but look at the table and look at this thing and every time I do so I feel so tempted to turn on the lights because it just looks so much more live when the lights are on um, and the heft of it it's just it's kind of mind blowing to 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 know that it's just right there on my side um and um i, I, I one of my one of the comments on my video um dodge step aside, step side dodge step side uh said uh did mention that the the person that told me hired was uh, the name was Doug Drexler i couldn't remember the name but I do know that he was hired by the Smithsonian with a bunch of people who who had references and knowledge of the original paint job uh, that existed while filming uh, on the three foot model uh, that's currently in the Smithsonian. So they restored it. So the paint application here is, is as exact as they can make it. So Tomy is very proud of that fact that they wanted to capture the model that was used in the film as much as they can. Why am I saying that? I'll go back to why I'm saying that uh, in another part. So um, as I've said before... Um, I'm going to be displaying on this side uh, because this, the, the plug holes on the other side um, they're just so kind of blatant for me I didn't want to see them um, so I it was my decision to display it on this side now um, as a Star Trek fan you guys probably know that the original model for the ship was never shot on this side because this side actually contained all the um had holes because this is where the electrical wiring went to light up the whole piece right so they would never showed this side they always showed the other side um and on the scenes where you saw it on this side it's basically flipped and you can tell by the reversed lettering on the nacelles over there. Why am I talking about that? I'll tell you why in a few minutes. So, the other thing I wanted to say was I, I, I even though I was thinking of displaying on this side, I didn't want this huge, huge um, base that's holding up the saucer section. I've also mentioned that I feel like the the screw that that's attaching the saucer section to the star drive. Some people were saying I thought I, I just called it the secondary hole. Um, seems like it's secure enough. Like you have to twist it five times in order to it to be properly secured. So and it's a big, it's a big bolt. So I feel like that's secure enough. The 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 fear is. Because this thing is so heavy, and because the plastic base is so thin, it's only held by these three screws, I feel like in time the weight 
might start warping some of the plastic over there. But I don't want this base. So I caution people that over time displaying this without the, the, the bigger base for the saucer section might cause the connection here to warp and tilt over. So let me let me pull this out first uh, and remove the secondary base. The other thing worth mentioning is initially I was just gonna unscrew this and restore this base to that one, but it it's so big that I felt like maybe it's distracting too much from the piece itself so I wanted to see what the piece would look like um, without the added length of the secondary B, uh, piece right so let me just put this aside for now and in my earlier videos I was talking about creating a custom base for the saucer section just so it doesn't tip over well here's a solution it's very very simple I made this this is a rod half an inch in diameter that I got from Amazon um, it's like nine bucks for like six pieces it's like a foot long I cut it off and then I found a base for it and I glued it and then I put like layers of um, gorilla tape on this on the top so it won't scratch I measured it so it's almost the height that's necessary for the hole but with the added um, height of the tape just to make sure it doesn't scratch and I'm gonna put this here now notice it's almost touching you just need to lift it a little bit now I know from my experience that when I had the secondary hole um, supporting the saucer section I, and I put this on I barely lifted it and it slid in and now without that secondary base I feel like I needed to lift it a little bit more so it, I, it seems like it is drooping a little bit without that base here just as a precaution to you guys but the base this that, that I made it doesn't provide stability it's not supposed to because this provides enough stability as long as you're not moving this this is just to make sure this does not droop but look I feel that's so much more better to look at um, the big base here is not too distracting because I feel like the big base might be containing the ship a lot um, as opposed to this one where you see the ship like moving forward. Now I know the the stand this this the the rod is still there, but it's a lot less intrusive than it was before. So that's my solution. That's like a ten dollar solution, no biggie. I didn't have to worry about uh, molding that thing that's in encapsulating the sensor area over here. You don't really need to anyway. And you guys can do it. You know, I just basically cut it up, measured it to size, uh, find a small base like that, and you're done. That's all you need. Um, it's up to you to decide. Okay, second thing. And I went through other reviewers about this, and I was watching the Adam Savage tested video where they were discussing the saucer section, and guess what he did? He took a, a flashlight and flashed it across this and lit this whole section up, right? So, why aren't these lit up? So, I look at the other reviews. Okay. And, and this is painted. It's not... They're not windows, right? And this is the side I'm displaying it on. So, let me flip this up. Let me flip this around and we'll be right back. <laughs> Remember when I said 
This is the original side that you see that the, 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 the model was made for to be shot in and the other side was not meant to be seen because that's where the connecting cables for the lights were going. I said that right? Do you notice these lights now are now lit up? That's because in the original model, because this is the side they wanted you guys to see, this side lit up. And that's when I saw what Adam Savage did when he put his, his flashlight through here and this side lit up. And I'm wondering, what the hell? Is mine broken? Because mine was, I was looking at mine, the flip side, because I was thinking of displaying it on the other side, because I did not want to see these holes over here, right? And I was other, other, watching other reviewers, and they weren't mentioning that fact because they were always showing this part and it was lit up and I was running and I mine wasn't and it, that's when it occurred to me that in the original the other side wouldn't be lit up they wouldn't even think about doing that because they they it wasn't meant to be displayed so Tommy told me in their quest to be exactly like the model didn't bother to lit up the other side <laughs> So now, the, the question I have for myself is, should I display it on this side? I'm, I'll never notice that these lights are on unless I turn it on. And I'm never going to have this on the whole time. So for most of the times... It's going to be like that. So. I don't know. That's the decision I'll have to make. Whether if it's. I feel like I can. Overlook the holes here. And have it displayed like this. Because you know. When I turn it on. That does. Having those sides lit up. Is something. I might want to see. You know, just to fully experience what the ship is like, supposed to be. But, anyway, that's that's one thing that you guys... Uh, those are the two things I, I wanted to show you guys was... This side is lit up. If you want to, you can customize your base so you can remove that and have a pole over there. It is drooping a little bit when you remove the big pole. The bigger stand. So you do need this. Over time... If it's drooping, then it's putting some stress in some of this. So you do need something to support it over there. And it's a $10 fix. So you guys decide whether you want to do it or not. Um, how do I feel about it? I like it. Um, it's disappointing. I'm more disappointed about the company rather than the product itself. Because I feel like it's still worth the money. It's a die, It's a fully die cast piece. Um... And I've said before, if you buy the Polar Lights kit model, it's $110. So it's the cheapest one I was able to find. And then the Polar Light Kits kit, lighting kit, is another $100. And then the painting, and then putting it together, and then sanding it. Uh, if you knew how to do that, right? The the talent, the time, the, the man hours you're going to put in there, $600, it's, I think it's a pretty good value. And even if you did do that kind of stuff, it still be made out of plastic, and you still have to worry about the nacelles drooping over time. This thing is never gonna droop; it's it's die cast. The plastic won't go brittle in time. This thing will just stay as a die cast piece. It will stay like this, you know, for as long as you probably live. So I'm happy with the purchase. Um, like I said before, if Tommy does offer the refit, um, I'll buy it. I'll probably just buy the one instead of buying the two. I feel like the second one, I'm, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it in the box. I won't open it. And I'll probably sell it because I, I feel like it might go up in value. Here's another thing. This is a crowdfunded project. And 
I think there are a lot there were a lot of people that canceled their pre-orders um, once Tommy announced that they are unable to cover up the seam lines and the holes so obviously they already create um, they already had those products in hand but usually on a crowdfund um, you don't get a chance to purchase extras um, they might have a few because of uh, if there's any replacements that they need to do they'll they usually produce like a 5% extra and they might sell those off on special occasions but because of those cancellations now there's like a lot more inventory I think than the usual 5% and I know that there's another YouTuber who mentioned that they purchased a second piece from Tommy after he had received the first one so he that means he purchased it outside of the crowdfunding window um, his name was the outsider that's his YouTube channel uh, and it just arrived so kind of makes you wonder because the second crowdfunding project that Tommy did is the Back to the Future and and the model that they use for that the model of crowdfunding they use in that one is that within the time frame of the crowdfunding you only get a certain discount and after that they'll put it on retail at a higher price I really really hope that Tommy will stick to their promise this time that once the twenty to five hundred or twenty six hundred has been sold off, the molds are destroyed because that's what they said. They'll never make more, right? Um, it'll be and if they did, it'll be a completely different thing. Uh, because man, if they break that promise, that's like all, oh, you know, then your second the the value will go down drastically or the price of resale. Anyway, it's a it's a, a little bit of thing that I just found out, is including the delights that I feel like, you know, I want to share with you guys. Initially, I just want to make this video because I, I, I did want it to make clear that even though I was disappointed by the fact that the seams are still there and I have to display this at a certain point, uh, a certain angle, a certain side, I still... Uh, am happy or content with the purchase of the product it's the second one that I'm, I'm kind of iffy about whether I should have uh, canceled that or not but I'm too lazy to cancel it and to you know I don't really care about the hassle of going through the cancellation I just kept it and hope that the price will sell will go up in the future um, I'll just keep it for now in box and then if they make the refit hopefully that will make enough profit so I can purchase the, the refit at a lower price um, but I you know this one I'm keeping uh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with it it's just it's a beautiful piece to look at if you look at it it's a beautiful piece you can't believe it's an actual copy of the model of the enterprise and then when you lift it, you're just like blown away by the fact that it's so heavy and and you know it's quality. The I haven't seen um a whole lot of things that I want to um feel like it's there's an issue of quality control. I haven't seen any of that. Um I the only thing I might say is these streaks that they use uh, even in the saucer section I keep looking at the one of the Smithsonian and they don't seem as prominent as these are um, that's the only thing uh, on the paint job that I'm I'm not too thrilled about uh, I don't know how accurate that is I mean you know what why can't it's not it's not like it was done by artisans right they, they these are still kind of mass produced at, at over 2,000 pieces. So, uh, but, but yeah, I, I'm, 
I'm, I like it. And there's no regrets for me to keep this one. It's just the second one that I, I'm still not sure of. But this first one, uh, I'm, I'm still very, very happy with how it turned out. So thank you for watching. I hope that trick helps you out. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next review. Goodbye.